everybody, it's Mandy Webkins back with another Webkins Trends. And here with me on September 30th is our special guest, Steve Webkins. Hello. Hey, Steve. And of course, it's our friend, Michael Webkins. Hey, Mandy. Hey, guys. So I am wearing more pieces from the fall clothing line, which is out now. So what do you think? I love those shoes with those jeans. Very, very stylish. I know. Very cool. Now, I think those jeans have been in the Kin style outlet for a while. So I mix those with some new pieces. But yeah, such the a glasses cool... are so cool. Yeah, those are called navy frames, I believe. They're, nice. they're brand new too with the fall clothing line. And the hat is just sort of fun. It's all great. So let's jump in. Now, this is Dusty's Pride Outfit by R4560301. And I have never seen these overalls before, but they are so fun. They a recipe? I'm not sure, but they're like a, a candy kins thing I, I, I that might be something else this looks i don't know i thought this was like a, a recipe that you could make i'm not sure but it, they look awesome with those glasses there and i love how those kind of sit low on the wolf's yeah, yeah the wolf's face yeah really cool and then the shoelaces pick up the green in the overalls. Really, really cute. This is Elise's summer outfit by Coco Beanies. And this is such a pretty dress. That dress has been around for a while, I think, right? But I think that headdress could be new from e-store. But... And those shoes are casual and fun and they fit this outfit perfectly yeah it's lots of fun seeing like a uh, white pet with white clothing that has yeah. like color accents that all match the different pieces yeah it really jumps yeah out this the pet color. seems like they're ready to go on a cruise or something like that on vacation this is Aww. happy august by bagel bite 660 so oh my gosh my birthday is in august <laughs> didn't know what this <laughs> birthstone is and i did know but you know what guys please tell me in the comments because i'm so embarrassed i don't know my own birthstone anyway on this pet it looks i think it's a peri dot mandy oh, i think you're right i think you're right but so cute on the white pet like that's such a beautiful shade of green that's great you know what we often see here different pieces of clothing that are mix matched together to create a completely new outfit but of course mandy a lot of the times we release outfits with different clothing pieces that are meant to go together and so this is an example here and uh it's beautiful it's awesome and um, this pet looks ready for the ball or some big extravagant event yeah and i believe we're releasing these top hats every release if i'm not mistaken and i think they might even be animated i think um especially the top hats have a little sparkle animation to them which oh, makes yeah, them I even more special i could totally see that so this is cute this is hooten annie by elish and this is such a cute bathing suit hat combo. Now, I remember we gave away those uh, Robin's Egg shades a couple of years ago in an event, but I don't know if that hat and bathing suit are meant to go together, but wow, do they ever work perfectly. Yeah, those shades, I mean, just blend in with that pet, so you don't yeah, know where really they start and where they end. Yeah, an they are. But I love that summer hat too, actually. That looks really, really nice and bright. Yeah, I don't think they necessarily match because they're kind of the reverse of each other, Yeah, but definitely still goes together. Yeah. Yeah, they really work. What kind of owl is that? I don't know. We have so many owls. I remember when it came out, and I think there are slippers that go with it, but I can't mm. remember offhand. It's an e-store pet. If you know, guys, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Below. I love our Webkins owls. Owls are like my favorite bird, I think. And it's fun oh. to have like a pet with like big eyes wearing big sunglasses. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, I wish I could remember because I think there are, you know how sometimes we do slippers with the head of the pet yeah, as part right, of the right, slippers? Right. And I think there's a pair of slippers to go with that owl, but yeah, please. Please, guys, let us know because you always do know. This is Iron Maiden Marion by <laughs> Lemony. Nice. And wow, this is the Rocker's Fox, right? And then just yep. wearing these fabulous clothing pieces and they don't need too much because they've got that great mohawk haircut. I don't know if we had, did we release a, a clothing line that was around the same time or related to rockers, but these uh, items, yeah. like, I think, uh, I mean, they go great with uh, the rockers pets. Anyway. Each rocker pet comes with their own outfit and I can't, yeah, I don't maybe. remember if this is the actual outfit that comes with this pet, but yeah, like, I mean, we talk about different ways of getting clothing. There's so many different ways, but I love these rockers outfits and they're all sort of styled for the genre of music that the rockers pet is designed around but by the way i love that mohawk on the pet and just like that little pink highlight at the end of the tail picks up that pink on the mohawk is perfect beautiful yeah now this is leonard's back Aww. to school outfit by sun 297 is this the gecko or is it the chameleon i'm not 
No, it doesn't look like I think like it's the movie. gecko. I think it's the gecko. But I love, again, the soft colors of the pet really make like the purple of the football jersey pop out and the blues of the hat and those cute shorts. Is this one of our newer uh, football jerseys or uh, I know the, the hat's like old classic uh, Kin style outlet. But, uh... The football jersey was released for a previous school event. Uh, what super is it? A super school. school giveaway. Yeah, with the cheerleader outfit. So I think that was maybe a couple of years old. But again, that one the whole outfit there's a helmet and pants and cleats that go with it as well and those you can find in the digging activity the buried treasure game at recess now we saw a couple of band members in our last video now this is life in a jar which is a very funny name for a drag of fly <laughs> life in a jar loves his new band uniform by 50ish webbies or it's firefly and uh this looks fantastic with those music note classes like what a great touch yeah and it totally the colors totally match this pet too yeah. which is great and i don't think i've ever actually seen the firefly with his uh, light up tail there yeah it's it's funny how the way it sits so cute we have a few insects including that beautiful diamond dragonfly yeah. that you can get with your pet medallions i don't know if anyone's actually unlocked one yet or adopted one yet because we've recently re released them so i always keep my eye out in the clubhouse for the diamond dragonfly, dragonfly yeah. and the rainbow googles yeah because yeah. those are very very special pets. Yeah, we'll see one like, who's going to be the first one that's going to send one to us, uh, a picture, a screenshot of, of one when yeah. they get them unlocked. That'll be very cool. Can't wait. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Sally. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is Marigold is ready for a dip in the pool by Darla Bell. And Marigold just looks amazing in this mermaid outfit. But you know what I love is the way they've used, this is a fox, right? Or is it a fawn? But the way they've used it with that crazy tail, it almost looks like the fanned out tail of a fish added to the mermaid outfit. Yeah. It's a great combination. I don't think the, the shoes are really normally for this outfit, but it's uh, it just works perfectly. Yeah, perfect for a mermaid, right? Because the starfishes and the shells and the rope really good. I think they might be because that's a mermaid wig and, and those are mermaid shoes. The so, accent on both seems to be matching so this must yeah. be a complete outfit. At, at least as far as the hair and the, the, hair, the shoes yeah. go. I don't know about the dress. If anybody knows uh, if this was released as a combo, uh, please let us know. Yeah, it's beautiful. And this is Rose Blush by Papa Bob. That's they explained to me how to pronounce it, Popo Bob. And you know what? This was, I believe, from our summer clothing mystery bag. And Rose Blush was lucky enough to get the matching shoes and dress. And that is such a pretty gown, especially in a black pet, because what I love about this gown is that it has sheer sleeves. So as you can see, the black really lets you see the detail on those sheer sleeves. Are those Plumpy's glasses? They may be, Steve, do you know? My, that was my first thought, too, was that they were plumpy glasses. And uh, those are really rare. It's one of the uh, classic uh, hair ribbons as well, that, uh, although I think maybe from the uh, Kin Style outlet. Yeah, early on, we used to sell the clothing in the W shop. Like on Webkin's Mobile, we, you can still buy clothing in the W shop. There is no Kinsella outlet on Webkin's Mobile. But then we moved to the Kinsella outlet and PJ took over the selling of clothes in Webkin's world. But Plumpy's glasses used to be in the W shop when all the clothing were in the W shop and now they're no longer available. They haven't been available for quite some time and I know they're pretty sought after. But you know what I love is the way the bow sits. It almost looks like it's an accent on the yeah, glasses. Yeah, I was thinking, I, yeah. I, was, I saw that too and I was thinking we should do some glasses with bows tied yes, in. I think that's so really fun. cool. Now this is cute. This is a caterpillar and they're always super cute and it's Sweet Pea Ready to Learn by Adantins. So they've got on a really cute little uniform it looks like school uniform, although it just got the W. So is that a Wizarding Academy uniform, maybe? Oh, yeah, it could be. Yeah. And then they've paired it with, I believe that beret was from the spring clothing line. And we did those shoes years ago. I think those were part of a Smoothie Moves challenge. We gave away some I can't pieces. remember. Oh, okay. We gave away some pieces, and I believe those yellow loafers went with it. But the yellow picks up the yellow in the wacky backpack perfectly. Yeah, that wacky backpack actually is one of the clothing prizes that you could win when you play Wackier Zingos during this year's Wacky Zingos celebration. You had to score a certain amount of points. I think it's 11,500, and then you got one of those, which was pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun, though, seeing the uh, caterpillar all dressed up, especially shoes. Yeah. Shoes are a lot of fun on a caterpillar because when you put them on, they just automatically multiply and 
they get a shoe for every foot there. So uh, loads of fun of seeing that many uh, multiples of shoes. And so cute, <laughs> such a happy face on the caterpillar. I just love it. Now, the next two slides are actually all from Bullseye Jingles because they did a Trends Around the World tour. And you know what? I wanted to include the whole description. So if you see the first one here, Dieter is a German shepherd living in Munich, Germany. He loves Oktoberfest and wearing lederhosen. And now the chimpanzee, <laughs> is that cute? <laughs> Niani is an African chimpanzee living in the Congo rainforest. She loves wearing brightly dyed colors and fabrics. And Seth is a camel living in Cairo, Egypt. He loves his country's storied history and wearing traditional pharaoh attire. Like, isn't this great? And there's a couple more to come, but. Very nice, very uh, detailed. And uh, yeah, the clothing just is spot on. Yeah, yeah, I love the shoes on. Uh, it's funny because those are typically girl shoes. Yeah, I they're guess. Mary Jane. Yeah, but they Mary work Jane's, with but they the... work perfectly with that German uh, costume. On the chimpanzee, that sort of funky pantsuit is gorgeous and again but works really well. Just the fact that the animals that they've chosen would yeah. be animals that you'd find at these locations too is just brilliant. Great exactly. job. Exactly. And there are a couple more. We've got Soka is a Shibu Inu living in Japan. He has mastered the art of sushi after years of training and apprenticeship and has earned the title of Itame. Am I saying that correctly? I'm not sure. And now this is my favorite because Willie is a West Highland Terrier who lives in Glasgow, Scotland. And my parents are from just outside Glasgow. He participates in the Carmunnock International Highland Highland Games every year in the caber toss and kilts are required to participate. And do you guys know what the caber toss is? Big log. Yes, the it's the big log and they have to lift it up sort of and toss it and it's got to flip over on its top and land the other way. It's really cool. It's this huge heavy log. I'm wondering where's the, you know, Canadian moose with the hockey jersey and toque. Uh... <laughs> Get on you know, that. that. We got some ideas for your next series there. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so cute. And our final one today is a tropical fun outfit by Lily Cat Nine, and it's uh, looks like a tropical fun lizard that they started with. And then look at that dress, and well, everything matches the pet perfectly, and there's so many bright colors. It just, it really is fun. I like this, the flip flops there on the front feet. Yeah, They're very delicate. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's a great example of like some of our more vibrant neonish type uh, clothing that just goes well on some of our more vibrant, uh, colorful pets. Yeah, this really pops. It's really lovely. So that was our last one for this week. And thank you again, Stephen, for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. And thank you, Michael, for yeah. being here. Thank you, Mandy. And thanks, guys, for sending in your trends. We just love them. So keep coming. Keep them coming at webkinstrends at gans.com. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.